Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again. Beautiful Thursday morning. I hope I can get this video out, man. I've lost my voice. But I wanted to talk about the high season in the Philippines and some things you should know when you're coming over here during this time. Because every week, maybe once or twice a week, I'm asked, Calvin, when's the best time to come to the Philippines? And I always tell people it's always a good time to come here. But that's not, not really the right answer. Because sometimes are better than others to visit. The high season is December through April. Obviously, December is Christmas season. A lot of the OFWs, which are overseas Filipino workers, and Balak Bayans, which are Filipinos who live outside the country, they're returning home in droves. So that pushes up international, uh, the price of international flights. A lot of the hotels are going to be fully booked. A lot of your favorite Airbnbs are not only going to be fully booked, but the prices are going to be higher. We were going to go to Siki Hall last week, and our favorite place normally is $21 a night. It was $37 per night. So, yeah, there's a high season. And if money is a concern of yours, are you trying to watch your budget, then it wouldn't be a good time to come because prices are going to be higher really across the board you know believe it or not and this may sound strange to some of you who who haven't been here or aren't familiar with it but domestic tourism drives the industry it's not foreign tourism and you know numbers will simply bear that out you know there's 110 million people here in this country if, if you just take 10% of those, you know, the, the richest 10%, which their money and their wealth is on par with ours, it far exceeds ours, really. That gives you 11 million people. And they're going to the same places you're going, they're staying at the same hotels you're going. That's a lot of people. So when you go to Palawan, you go to Barakai, Panglao Beach, if you're here between December and April, you're going to notice, man, the prices are more expensive. The beaches are full of people. Remember, we were just in uh, Peng Lao Bahal back in March, just for a couple of days. And it was packed on the beach. But, but it never occurred to me because I, I forget that it's high season. I forget all the time that it's high season. But when you throw in March is the start of the summer here. And normally, you know, pre-pandemic, schools would be out. So when you go to these local resorts, they would be packed, certainly on Sunday. So it's just something that you need to know, something you need to plan for if your trip is here from December to April. Because... I had no idea, guys, I promise you. Uh, the resort owner, the resort owner in Siki Hoa told me. Because she had given me one price to stay there for a month. And then when I called back, it was something else. And she said, well, because you stayed here many times before, I'll give you a 20% discount. I said, well, why did you change the price? She said, because it's high season. And it blew me away because I did not, I did not know that. I just thought it was, you know, the same prices all year round, but it's not. Just bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to, you know, give you some good information today because we're still in April. So for the rest of this month, you're going to see prices creep down. That same place that was $21 that they want $37 for. It's now 30. And by the end of this month, it'll be back to 21. I hope y'all can see that 
Uh, I hope you can see that volcano behind me. I'm not sure if you can or not. But yeah, I'm out there to ask when's the best time. But Filipinos, they, they travel, you know, the ones who can afford it. Remember prior to the pandemic, this was one of the fastest growing economies in all of Asia, man. You know, things were really looking up over here. Pandemic set it back. The middle class was booming. That's why you see so many cars and motorcycles. And you go to these fancy restaurants like Mawani there in the, in the background. You'll see it be crowded. Okay. Because remember that 10% makes up more people than foreign tourists that come in here. In and out of here. On a yearly basis. You know, at the peak. So what's that come out to be? About 750000 a month? That's a drop in the bucket, ladies and gentlemen, in a country of $110 million. So just plan accordingly, man. That's all I can tell you. We're headed out. I've got to go get my visa extension. And so we're going to Siki Hall. We waited. Okay, after we figured it out, how it's high season. So now next week, we'll be there. We're going to stay a week. I'm just going to chill out at the beach, man. And reflect and meditate. And, you know, it's just something about the water. You know, we have an affinity to water, obviously. And we, we're being, you know, we're 75% water. But I'm just chilling today on this beautiful Thursday morning, man. Look how quiet it is. This is one thing that people never give the Philippines enough credit for. I want y'all to see what's behind me. I, I don't know if I'm going to walk down there or not, but I want y'all to see this view behind me. It's beautiful. But the one thing the Philippines doesn't get enough credit for is the peace and quiet, man. The peace and serenity. It's really, really quiet here. Look, look. What is it? Maybe 8 o'clock. It's super hot because, and it's quiet, really quiet here. You don't hear any students. See, right behind me, I'm trying to think where it is. Over here, there's a school. Julio Ledesma High School. Because schools are out. It's so hot here right now that they had to let schools out. I don't know if they're going back tomorrow or not. That's another thing to be aware of when you're coming over here around those times. Now, when you're worrying about the weather, the best time is August through February. That's when the, the cooler temperatures, you know, the rainy season. But it's also the time when if you're in a, visiting an area that's prone to typhoons, this when those major typhoons. Now we're in El Nido, El Nino. I'm sorry, I said that last time. I want y'all to look behind me. You're gonna see, see how brown the grass is. We haven't been getting any rain. It's droughts all around this country. You know, uh, they've declared a state of calamity in several provinces. But it's El Nino right now. Temperatures are higher, but La Nina is coming in August. It's going to bring more rain, cooler temperatures, more storms. So be aware of that. You know, don't don't be stupid like me and just get on a plane and come over here, man. I, I did that in April, by the way. That's why, you know, when I tell people about my story and how everything was so expensive I see now why it was I came here smack dab in the middle of the high season I thought it was the travel agent cheating me it wasn't we're in the high season in the Philippines now so the hotels are going to be more they're going to be fully booked main boon time it cost me 2500 US dollars just for one week here <laughs> imagine that was my bus I mean, my plane ticket and one week in the Crown Regency. I thought I was being cheated. 
I wasn't. It was high season. So if you look now for tickets to come to the Philippines, if you're trying to come now, they're going to be a little higher. Okay? The best time to buy an international ticket coming to the Philippines is September. Okay, that's when the summer is over in the West, in America. So it's just a little few things I wanted to talk about. You know, it's not all the time drama. I do want to give you a tip while I'm thinking about it. If you really want to see the Philippines and all this beauty, all this glory, I would choose a couple of Filipino vloggers to follow because they travel. Fan Buntag. Good morning, Fan Buntag. I was following, I don't know the name of this vlogger. I, I, I don't want to say Mac Maul because it's not true. He was a rapper back in the day. But it's something like that. Because I was wanting to research Glenn again. Guma, Gumasa Beach. And so I watched a couple of videos and he's everywhere, man. This guy is. See, most of the foreign vloggers, man, we really don't go anywhere. We just stay in our general area and, you know, and, you know, give out information. You know, like me, like what I do. But when I am somewhere, I'll share it with you. But if you really want to see the Philippines, all the waterfalls and the volcanoes, the beaches and everything, get on YouTube and follow you know, two, three, four Filipino vloggers, man. You're going to see it. They're the best host. Not us. Okay, they're the best host in their home country. Not us. If you're looking to a, for a foreigner for travel information, you're asking the wrong source. We're going to the same places over and over again. Okay. I've got a guy. Let's see. His, his channel is Bumps and Bruises. I'll say this before I get off of here. He said, Calvin, you know, because what he did, he lives in Thailand, John Teen, right outside Patia. But he came to the Philippines and over about six months, he he rode his motorcycle. I think he's got an X-Max all over the Philippines. And he said, Calvin, he says, there's some eight wonder of the world type places in the Philippines he said that no one ever goes he said when I, I was astonished at how at the beauty but maybe one or two tourists and this is what I'm telling you but the Filipinos they know where these places are and they they document it for you in their vlogs we don't do it then you come over here and then you do your research and say okay that's where I want to go because if you follow me you're going to go to Siki Hall, Palawan Barakai, Pangla Bahal, you know, maybe Bantayan Island, Komodis, just a handful of places. But there's so much more to the Philippines than those little places. Remember, I always remind you, 2,000 islands. I've been to what? I, I added them up again, 14. Okay, getting ready to be 15 if I make it to Malapasqua. So thank y'all so much. You know, I lost my voice on my members only. No, no. I believe it was my members only live stream yesterday. No, no, it was the one before. You know, because sometimes I get passionate on certain subjects. And I, you know, people think I'm angry, man. I'm not angry, man. I'm one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. But, you know, sometimes when you're making a vlog, or especially a live stream, because it's the people, I just feed off the people. They get excited, they get hyped up. And it hypes me up. They might say something to to trigger that passion. But I think that's the biggest um, wrong that people have about me, that I'm angry, that I'm bitter. I'm really not, guys. I'm, I'm as happy as I've ever been. I'm not faking. You can't fake that. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here. So thank y'all so much for stopping by again. This is a beautiful area out here. If you ever want to come to San Carlos City, man, let me know. I either put you up for a few days in the guest house and 
point you in the direction. See, Ma Wani's behind us, and then they're adding more hotel space here. You got the Ma Wani Hotel, the Palau Hotel, the YM Business Hotel, several hotels you can come here. But if you're into fitness, man, this is the place to come. Fitness is so popular here, man. That's another thing we don't talk enough about over here. I mean, I, I'd like to talk to some of these people, but I don't like to indulge on people. You know, when you bring out this camera, man, I mean, really, nowadays, you know, people get skeptical. You know, you're invading their space. I just don't like to do it. But it's a lot of young people now in those gyms, man. I mean, really. So if you're in America, it's late. Please help somebody before you let your head hit the pill. It's very important. Put some insurance on your life. Put some insurance on your happiness. If you're in the Philippines, I guess it's about 8 o'clock. I'm here. I'm on my way back. I'm glad I'm sweating. We'll be headed down to Dumaguete later because I've got to get my visa extension. I do it every two months. Uh, you know, I don't know if they've... Under certain circumstances, you can get it for six months. But even if I could, I wouldn't do it. Anything can happen in six months. I don't want to leave that money on the table. Two months is good enough for me. Give me a chance to get out, stretch my legs. <coughs> so if you see me in Dumaguete, say, hey, man, I'll buy you lunch, man. I will. At your favorite restaurant. Now, a day goes by, I don't help somebody, and that's not going to change today. Look at those beautiful mountains. It's just so beautiful over here, man. You know, we focus on the wrong things, guys, over here. You know, and when people say, oh, it's, it's just as expensive in the Philippines as it is in the West, it's not true. We're spending our money on the wrong things and in the wrong places. But I'm going to help somebody today, probably in Dumaguete. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see y'all next time. And don't do anything stupid. I just want to give y'all a little panoramic view of... This is just a small part of Center Mall over here, man. This place is huge and it's beautiful. You're not going to see this anywhere else in the Philippines in a major city, really. This is a class two city because people would be squatting on this stuff area right here. This is prime real estate here. But thankfully, they're only. They got this for sports, mostly soccer. Remember I told y'all, OK, that the next big superstar coming from the Philippines is going to be in soccer internationally. I mean, OK. Y'all saw where the 10 and under boys won their tournament. They beat the United States, as a matter of fact. Saudi Arabia, a couple of people. It was in, it was in Spain, as a matter of fact. Take care, everybody.